Welcome to the webinar. I'm Dr. Doug Lear, and I'm so excited that you're here. I want to share with you as we begin today in this webinar, some of the results that quantum healing that I developed called cellular resonance has created for patients. So you can get a, a feel for this. I had a 12 year old girl come with her mother and she had two holes in her heart and the doctors wanted to do surgery and close the holes. But the little girl said, I want Dr. Leia to work with me. She had an intuition. She knew I could help her. And so we went to go treat the cause. We went to figure out what's going on with this little girl. And we corrected it, the interference in a couple hours. And we'll talk about that later, this interference in her heart. And she went back to the hospital several months later with no holes in her heart. That's right. And another woman with a well-known breast issue. She had had all the medical treatment. And five years later, the problem came back, this problem. And she said, I know you can help me, Dr. Lear. Let's get to work. And we worked on her and corrected the messaging to her breasts and resolved the true cause of what was happening with her in a matter of about four and a half hours, over several weeks, but total that much time. And she went back to her doctor and no cancer. And she's been clear for the last five. That's the power of energy medicine when it's applied correctly. I have another man who came to me as a businessman and he wanted to lose 30 pounds, quit smoking, stop the cravings that were going on for him. And his business was near bankruptcy. And he said, three months and I'm, and I'm done. He said, uh, we're not making enough money. So we got working on all those problems. And within a few months, we quit. The smoking stopped, the fast food cravings went away. He lost 30 pounds and his company went from the red near bankruptcy way into the black. In that year, he bought a new building, made other investments, replaced himself as the CEO of that company and started some more companies. So the other thing that happened with him, he says he really wanted to have a girlfriend because he had horrible relationships with women. Here, here he is, a 39, 40-year-old man and said, you know, 20 years to women, he says, and it's horrible with what happens. And we helped him to resolve that cause because all that within the brain body being that he is, and we resolved those patterns that created those behaviors, those attractions, those manifestations. And he's now married to the woman of his dreams. And he says, Dr. Doug, we worked hard for it, <laughs> but we got it. And they've been married for a few years now and having a wonderful, wonderful marriage. So there's so much that we can do to help people when we really understand and work with quantum healing in a way that works every time. And that's what I want to share with you. If your dreams, your ambitions are to, to really help people heal on all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and even be there where you could help them really help heal any interference, any problem in their life, then you're going to be very excited about what I have to share with you. If you're having trouble getting patients 100% well, if their conditions and their symptoms come back after you treat them, they come back with more problems because this problem here, you worked with their neck problem, and all of a sudden now they have a low back problem. And the problem moved into a different area of the body. We're not getting to the real cause of the matter. And so the things that were taught in school on how to treat people are different modalities like chiropractic and acupuncture and hypnotherapy, psychotherapy, medicine, all of these things, physical therapy, all of these things, functional medicine, of course, nutrition and supplements, all the blood work, and et cetera. We're not getting them well within a 90-day period. Likely we're missing causation. We're missing a certain function. And we're not able to raise that function up to what we want. If you're a doctor, a healer that really wants to help people heal on all levels and make 
differences in lives that change radically everything in their life. Like I talked about those clients, a lady with the breast problem, not only did that clear up, but her whole business, which happened to be in the entertainment industry, so I can't say who her name is, but that entertainment business thing that she wrote and produced has been doing fabulously just because of the work that we did to help her. So patients coming back again and again for, for many different types of things, not just their health conditions, getting those well, but after that, they realize why they were sick, what created those things. And now they come back over and over again to exactly this, to resolve the stress, the trauma, the negativity, the negative thought patterns that are actually creating their problems. And we'll talk more about how to do that and why and, and how that happens in the main part of this webinar. Of course, for myself, I always had this goal to help heal myself. And I had a lot of serious things going on with myself. But what I really wanted to do is be able to help sick people get well, help people solve their problems at a deep core level. And what I've been able to achieve is I've literally treated more than 500,000 patient visits over the years and help patients heal just about anything that they come in with. In fact, when a person comes in, it's rare that I don't find the cause and not be able to resolve it. I've been able to take my practice, double it, even triple it in a short period of time, just because this work enabled me to be able to niche my practice any way I wanted, because I can really handle pretty much any type of condition to come in because I'm dealing with the deep causation level of stress, trauma, and negativity that every human being has. A lot of them think they've gotten over the past, but that's not likely, especially when they come in and they have physical, mental, emotional, spiritual problems that they aren't able to deal with anymore in their life. And so I've been able to help pain syndromes, all kinds, chronic and terminal illnesses, get well. Even one more case study, I had a man call me from the hospital. He said, I got pancreatitis and gallbladder disease. They're going to take both of them out or a section of them out tomorrow morning. Will you please help me? I spent four and a half hours with him in the hospital and he walked out of the hospital in the morning. No pancreatitis, no gallbladder, pain or problems. And his health just zoomed after that. It's just so exciting to help people go from wherever they are to vital health. And that's because if we want to be healthy, and this is what I tell my patients, if you really want to be healthy, if you want to lose the weight, if you want to resolve the pain, if you want to, whatever it is, we've got to get you to 100% function. Because if your cells are at 100% function, then you're going to have 100% health. That's right. And so I take my patients through these cute little <laughs> talks and help them to really understand that it's all about getting the cells and the cell communication right. And we're going to talk about that right now. This is how I get people to achieve this. So over the last 38 years, I've been developing cellular resonance quantum healing work quantum medicine that gets to the deep causes. And the biggest mistake that doctors, healers make is they're working on the condition. They're working on healing the symptom. And we got to understand that we're not the healer. The patient is the healer. We have to help them heal by removing the cause. If we don't get to the cause and help that cause heal, remove it, whatever it is, if somebody has a knife in them, obviously, what's the first step? You know, we've got to pull it out and be ready to stop the bleeding, but we got to pull the knife out. We can't leave that in there. And so as long as we're treating a person, oh, they're bleeding, we're bleeding, we're putting more gauze on them. You know, we got to get to the real cause, which is the stress trauma that's stuck in their cells, stuck in their subconscious memory, stuck in the energy field. So the next mistake that doctors, healers make is we have to treat the whole person. We have to treat the body, the mind, and the soul body. Because it's also in medicine called the morphogenic field. That's what led 
the development and growth of that egg into a baby. And it's still there around you, keeping you alive. This is where life comes from. It comes from the field. And so we must address all three aspects of the person. I have a lot of healers that they're just working with the energy, but is it getting into the self? Now we have a lot of doctors, uh, even holistic, but working on the body, right? Adjusting vertebra, treating supplications, opening up the nerve flow by adjusting. But have we directly affected the field? Have we affected the subconscious memory, mind, that has the stress in it that reenacts the physiology again and again? So we must treat the whole person. An other mistake that doctors and healers make is very simple. You've got to correct the brain messaging. We have two functions of the body. One is survival and one is healing. We've got to address this survival system and get the brain and nervous system out of survival. Because as long as you're just doing techniques, doctors giving pills, whether they're nutrition or drugs, these things all are treating the symptoms. Of course, nutrition is going to help nourish and detoxify the body with the right things, and that's very important. However, we must get the brain and nervous system into the detoxification mode to turn that on electrically. Because again, we're energy beings, we're electrical, neurological beings, and nerves, cells all communicate through energy pulses or sound impulses, but it's these pulses. And we've got to get these pulses corrected in order to heal the body. And that means when we correct those pulses, then we're going to get the brain and nervous system to stop fighting bears and tigers, being sympathetic, fight or flight. Because as long as the person is stuck reacting to that stress at age two and five and 10 and 15 and 30 and 40 and so on, there's a lot of stresses that go into the system. Then if we don't get them out of the particular stress that's causing that symptom, then the symptom's always going to come back. And if we do manage with our modality, with nutrition, with functional medicine, to get that symptom improved, there's always gonna be a back door that's open for another illness to come in because we haven't dealt and haven't helped the patient deal with the stress where that sympathetic fight the tiger message is now turned off permanently because we helped resolve it. It's simple as pushing the delete button, we'll talk more about that in a moment, but we've got to get the person out of the stress response and into a balanced homeostasis of that autonomic nervous system where the sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system is balanced and now can activate the innate healing. Remember, we know the power that made the body heals the body. We must re remove the interference from that power. And the number one interference is thought interference. Once we think it, once we experience it, it becomes a thought, and the thought is a memory. The memory contains a feeling and a belief, or a series of beliefs. And it can be multiple feelings that they feel about whatever happened. So we have to be able to take that apart. And that's what we do in my cellular resonance quantum healing work. I, I talked about working on the little girl with the holes in her heart it only took me about three hours of working with her to take apart that stress, resolve it at the three levels, the physical, cellular level, the mind, emotional level, and the energetic level so that the interference is cleared from all three so they can now re-communicate and heal the person. That's why remember we don't heal the person, we help the person to remove the interference and then get with mind, body, soul, trinity, to lock in, boom, and then it starts to heal automatically because that's what it knows to do. That's how we're designed. We're designed to heal. And it's so exciting to help patients to do that and then have them return again and again because, oh, they know. <laughs> For me, Dr. Doug's the stress doctor. I'm stressed about this. I got a problem with that. Oh, he knows how to help me solve it. I'm probably creating this somehow from some other pattern that either I got from my parents, uh, called epigenetics, their thought field, my family energy. They always worried about money. Now I'm worrying about money. <laughs> and we take it apart. We find where that source is. It's literally just a code in the brain and nervous system, in the field, that's sending a message to the cell. 
to fight a bear or tiger. So we've got to avoid the, the big mistakes of just treating the symptoms and getting in there and really resolving the stress that's really creating the problem. I know for myself, I wanted to help patients at the deep causative level, the deep, deep causative level. Because at one point, I was walking with a cane. I had two herniated discs. No one was helping me to get well. Chiropractic, acupuncture, and functional medicine, those all things made me feel a little bit better. But the pain always came back within a day of any treatment. And then I was right back where I started. Man, I prayed to die. It was so bad. And you may have patients that come, hey, doctor, if you don't help me with this, you know, I might jump off a building. That's where I was. And so energy medicine writes those stress responses and gets the brain to send a message to heal. And I've been great for almost 40 years now uh, <laughs> without low back pain and sciatica and all the rest that went with it because we got to resolve the real cause of the problem. Now, what's most important to understand are these three things about healing. And I alluded to it already, and that is that we have to treat the whole person, the mind, body, and soul of that person and integrate the mind, body, soul because stress and trauma is what creates the problem. So let's talk about these. There's different types of stressors. There's the big situation that happens to a person, and then that logs into the subconscious memory and creates a physiology. They may have an immediate symptom, or it could take years for the symptom to manifest, especially if it happened in childhood, which is where it all begins. We have more stresses as we go along that we add to it, but it starts in childhood. So I know for a lot of children, we have 25%, and this is just what the statistics say, about 25% of everyone walking in your office has been sexually abused. Now, as a doctor, we're not trained to talk about the abuse, and we don't do that anyway. We don't have to talk about it. We can say, okay, the body will reveal, when you work with it, will reveal the stress, the pattern of it. And I ask that your body is revealing to me that you had a big stress when you were four or five years old. I see this pattern with, with fathers or with, with family members or, you know, something that happened. And they go, oh, well, yeah, I, I know I was, I was sexually abused. Oh, okay. And just demonstrate with them how that thought creates a change in their physiology. And they go like, whoa, I thought I was over that. No, it's still running your body, causing this disease condition that you have here. And some people would go, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I get it. I knew that was that, that's what was going on. So one of the two, right? But they're excited that somebody knows and can help them with this problem. So I said, just tell them, think about this problem. And I work with them through the cellular resonance process. And I help them to literally update or resolve that stress. It's just a pattern and it's neurological, energetic, and we clear it in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depends on how deep it is. And then they're good. We have them come back the next visit. And usually within a week, if you see them daily, they're gonna be a lot better by the end of the week, which is really exciting because, you know, patients are impatient these days. They've got so many problems. They want to get well as quickly as possible. There's another thing though, is when you're resolving those symptoms, when you're resolving those symptoms, you're training and teaching that person along the way how they're creating their problems. As you do that, they start realizing that you're the go-to doctor for so many different things in their life. Wow. And also, what I tell patients, how many friends, people do you know that have these similar problems, whether they're the emotional stress, just making them sick or a physical problem because I work on everything. So people come in, they want this one thing better, but all of a sudden, you know, let's just say they got shoulder pain and suddenly all well, their shoulders feeling better, but doc, I'm sleeping better. And I feel more relaxed through the day. I'm not in a panic. I didn't tell you about the anxiety and panic attacks, but those seem to have 
gotten better too. Oh, great. And then you can say, let's make sure we get you 100% of the way, right? We want to go 100%, right? Yes. <laughs> and they go, great. And that way, they're on a three to six month treatment plan that really helps them to get their cells to function as close to 100% as possible. And we're working on those stresses. And as we're doing that, they're telling their friends and their family, you go see Dr. Doug. Really, what does he do? You know, he resolves the stress that creates our problems. And then our body responds and our mind and emotions respond and things just get better in life. I train my patients to say these things. I haven't advertised in years. That's right. Not one ad. All right. So people find me word of mouth. And, and it's, a, it's just so exciting to be able to get calls most days and the surprise that I take of myself. Yeah, I, I set up an appointment with them later on or I say, okay, I have time to talk right now during my lunch. Oh no, I don't want to disturb your lunch. I say, it's okay. We can take 10 minutes out of my lunch to talk to you. And they're just so thankful and appreciative. And that's the type of people I see are just thankful, appreciative people to get well and the work works. So it's so important to understand that when we're, when we're treating at that true cause level, it brings an excitement within ourselves practicing because our confidence to handle whatever we want to handle is there. And then the patients, they see and feel our confidence. In fact, you know, what's really important to understand is, is what's an attractive force in the practice that patients refer, that patients accept care. I've had patients tell me all through my career, you know what? You're so happy and loving and, and you look healthy. You know, they can't believe I'm 66 years old in this video right here. They're just so excited. They want to look that way. They want to feel that way. I don't have a weight problem. They say, you know, I have a lot of people come in for weight, like in the United States, and I'm sure it's uh, uh, not, doesn't follow far behind in other countries, but really bad here in the United States. 70% of people are overweight. They have a serious weight problem that's really affecting their health. But it's because their bodies aren't functioning properly because their fat burning hormones aren't working, right? Their organs and glands that make them aren't working. The communication between the organs and glands and the brain isn't working. This is so important to understand. We've got to correct these messages. And I haven't seen anything able to do that except for quantum medicine techniques like I've developed. And then I just happen to be like on the cutting edge of this, that more and more ways to treat people come to me all the time. Then I document it, repeat it over and over again, and it works. And my confidence is somebody walking in the office. It's like, it's not a matter of, Will we get you better? It's just how long will it take to, one, correct the causes, the stress causes that are going on with the patient, two, correct the patient's thinking. What are they thinking each day that gets in the way? What choices are they making that's getting in the way? And if they're addicted to something, wow, we've got the solution. <laughs> Doc, I just, I just can't stop smoking or I can't stop eating Twinkies and cupcakes or whatever it is. No problem. I remember I had this police detective from San Francisco come to see me with a 50 pound belly. And he said, doc, he says, I got to lose this weight. I'm puffing and puffing, trying to keep up with the other guys on my bicycle club. <laughs> and then they have coffee and snacks without me. And I finally get there. They're leaving. He was 65, but he wanted to really be in there with his group who are all in their fifties. And the key was, is that his liver wasn't working. And my quantum medicine identified very quickly liver problems, the big belly, just a filling up of water, weight was the major problem and some fat and high, and high cholesterol and blood pressure and so forth going on. But once we got him out of survival mode and resolved all the stress, he was a homicide detective. Understand, he saw a lot, you know, in, in the career, he saw a lot of difficult things. He had a whole lot of stress and, uh, as a man. And we know, so we help him feel homicide and ex-wives and all these things were all related to all the anger and resentment and rage and his shame and his guilt all that in his body and hitting his liver special 
as we heal that stuff in four months, he said, you lost all the weight. He says, he says, I'm now ahead of the guys who are 10 years younger than me. I'm leading the path now. He was so excited about that. But here's the deal. Remember, I started this conversation about him regarding difficult choices. He said, I told him, you need to eat vegetable. We need to get you on a, on a vegan diet for the next few weeks just to kickstart the liver to start producing bile and not have, you know, his, your diet's like fried potatoes and meat. He says, that's what I like, fried potatoes and meat. He says, I, how can I go without my meat? So I just reprogrammed him, deprogrammed him and reprogrammed him to really enjoy vegetables because it's just thoughts. Really, our thoughts, feelings, our beliefs, they control everything in our life, even our practice, how successful we are, how unsuccessful we are, how much money we make, how much we don't make. All those things are really determined by this subconscious mind memory. And that's why I'm so excited when healers, doctors, physical therapists, when psychologists I've trained a lot of come and we help you to heal these things in yourself, whatever it is, as you're learning, you got to practice on each other. And I, I love to see those miracle stories for, for my students because their lives radically change wherever their difficult areas, whether it's health, happiness, relationships, self-esteem, getting better results, of course, for patients. And the way that they are successful or not successful, these paradigm shifts that happen. And that's what we have to do with our patients. We have to get them to paradigm shift the way they're thinking about things. And I hear this with every patient pretty much. At some point they go, you know, I never thought of it that way before. <laughs> and I help them reframe it. But at the subconscious, cellular, soul level, that's the key where we resolve the stress of all three levels and then everything reboots and they start operating differently in life. So if you just treat a symptom, then the stressful thinking they have is always going to create another symptom and another one and another one. I know that kind of makes a patient for life, but I know all of you who are watching this, it's not about the money. It's not about a patient for life to treat them because they come back because they like you and you get them some relief and then you help them with the next illness, the next problem, but you don't ever resolve the cause. I wanted to resolve causes and help people elevate their consciousness, their spiritual connection to bring more love and joy into their heart, their body and life for them to be a better father, mother, daughter, son. We've got an aging population out there and so many of us who are in my age group, our parents are sick and dying and have to deal with all those things. The baby boomers like myself, we have to deal with that. And you can develop a whole niche practice just on baby boomers dealing with aging parents. There's just so many ways to build and grow a practice by really by treating the cause, because this is the cause really of everything. As Albert Einstein said, everything is energy. And then he went further on as he learned more. Ah, oh, everything is consciousness. Consciousness takes the energy, changes the energy, and then it becomes material over here. So our material reality is based on the quality of the energy. And the energy quality of the energy is based on consciousness. So people are stuck in fear-based consciousness. They're really suffering. How many people with depression, anxiety, panic attacks, grief and loss and loneliness? That's in our patients. To not treat that, you've got to understand that's what's creating that pain ultimately, that chronic disease, their depression, whatever it is that they're coming to see you for. And when we have the tools, the knowledge, and the, the ability to bring them right into a healing process, and my sessions are 10, 15 minutes long. In that process, that clears it and they, they level up. They're a little better. Then the next visit, a little better again, a little better again. And within the first week, five, six sessions like that, they're saying, Doc, I'm starting, to, I'm feeling better. When I first started in practice, you know, people 38 years ago, I, person come in with neck pain and I'd start working on their, their stressors 
and you know, touch the different points that I that I touch on the body to to clear the stress pattern. <laughs> and I had one guy say, "Doc, I didn't come here to to heal heal my head, just my neck." <laughs> I said, "Well, turn your neck." And he went, "Oh, it's better." I said, "Good thing we worked on your head." He says, "I guess so." <laughs> now I have patients. Literally 50% of my patients say, I heard you help my friend resolve a lot of stress in their life and they got better. That's what I want. I'm stressed about this and that. I know these things in the past. People are becoming more aware. We have more aware patients and we can't do what we used to do in the past. Patients are aware of what's causing their problem. They may not know the specific stress. They may not know it's generational. They may not know the depth of something that happened to them, but jump back to the sexual abuse. Most people, if that happens, a lot of them don't remember it till they hit about their mid thirties, early forties, and then boom, it kind of, because we can only suppress for so long before remembrance comes back. And then I've had a lot of people with this type of problem because it's 25% of the patients or more, and everyone's been traumatized. That's documented by the Stanford ACE study that every human being has been traumatized. Uh, I know a lot of you listening to this may be lots of places in the world, especially in Europe. And so I'm going to give you a place to go if you'd like to learn more about cellular resonance and how technique and how to put it into your practice and, and how we teach this in three, four days, the level one which is more than I learned in the first 10 years of practice doing energy medicine. So I was getting sick people well back then with what I knew. And I'm going to be teaching you some amazing things like how other people's energy gets entangled with the patient and you can't get the patient well because that other person's energy is connected to theirs. And so they're continually being pulled down pulled down by that stress of the other person who's you can call it sucking their energy or entanglements so that's one of the things i teach is like how to get them un unentangled from the person it only takes five 10 15 minutes to to get an entanglement with another person clear so that we just have that person that we're treating rather than that person the other person we're not treating that person but that person's energy is entangled up in fact i had one patient that was having this is an amazing, amazing story. He was a computer programmer, you know, made websites and programmed the websites. So that means he's on the computer. He developed a computer allergy. He couldn't even get on the computer five minutes without going into like a chronic fatigue type of syndrome. And he was an athletic kind of guy. He loved riding bike. He was, you know, a triathlete. He couldn't ride his bike, couldn't do triathlons. I mean, he just basically moved back in with his parents. 38 year old man and because he couldn't function it was like that for like two years before he came to see me then he came in to see me and i worked with him i'm thinking yeah we're going to resolve the stress in this person right this is how i discovered this by the way years ago is and four weeks of treating the man and he didn't he budged like a little bit i'm going that's not right he should be at least 30 percent better 40 percent better in a month of my care at least and he was like well a little bit <laughs> yeah, i think he's trying he felt bad that he wasn't better so i think he told me a little bit and i was going no that's not good enough and so i just inquired deeper and what happened was he said you know i said and i looked in a different way and what we have discovered was his roommate had aids and died over one year period in this house. And the first thing he said, I don't have AIDS. I don't have, I don't have anything like that. I said, no, no, no. You're entangled with his energy because to be alive, he was pulling from the roommate and the friends, everybody came to visit. But this patient of mine was living with him and he got entangled with the energy. You know, I cleared that entanglement and Boom, the four weeks of work I did, clearing his family issues and this issues and girlfriend issues and whatever stresses he had in his life and his thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about his problem in the first place, because you've got to resolve those. Because people believe they're sick, then they're going to be sick, right? So you got to get them unstuck from believing that they're sick or that they have a problem. 
That's the biggest problem with chronic illnesses that people have had a long time. Been to lots of doctors. They have a terminal disease illness that they're afraid they're going to die of. I got this thing. I got to get rid of it. I got to get rid of it. I got to get rid of that problem. We all know the name of it, right? I uh, avoided that name through the, the whole webinar here on purpose. And uh, so we got him to get untangled from that person. And literally all the work we did on him, boom, that week, literally, he was on his bike, mountain biking, boom, up in the mountains, just having uh, a great old time. And the computer allergy, boom, that was gone. He'd go back to work and start making money <laughs> and come back and, for more care. <laughs> so uh, that happens with a lot of people with conditions like fibromyalgia and, and RSD. And just so many people have limitations. And when we're able to resolve that, they will become more active in their life, be able to work and earn more money. And, you know, that's how our society's been set up for the time being. I have a lot of people come see me. Hey, you helped my, my friend with their money issues and they got a better job. I want that. People come in for all sorts of things. It's just so exciting to be able to have the ability to help people solve the real cause. At the time of me making this, you can email me. My, and my name, Dr. Doug Lehrer at sonic.net. You can email me questions, email me to give a call, you know, do that right now and email me, or you can go to a website and let's see that this is right for you to add energy medicine in your practice seamlessly. It's energy medicine. Technically, you don't need a license for this. It's typically a cash service. So I had a, I've had a cash practice for 25 years. I used to do insurance, but I don't do that anymore. And uh, I tell people if they want to get well, you know, then we're going to do what works because insurance only pays what insurance pays for. It. But they come in and people pay cash and we help them to get better. We put them on the right treatment plan. We have the first level one program that you can come to come in, learn it, and start applying right away these techniques. And like I said, it's more than I knew in my first 10 years of practice. So we really want to help you to heal what's going on with you, help you help your patients get better results and be more happier and alive and become the version, a higher version of yourself. Remember, the true path to all healing is the journey from fear to love from the soul to the cell. That's right. And that's the website. So I appreciate so much that you spent this time to listen, take it into your heart, because it's really all about love. That's how we help people heal. We resolve the fear, the trauma, through the frequency of love. And I'll show you and share with you how you can resonate with that to resonate through the patient it really is quite simple and it's something that we have to have a desire to do and it is the truth of why we're here we're all here to learn to love and to serve each other and to love each other deeper on, on a higher level and serve through our gifts and talents and abilities and each person has a unique fingerprint of talent and ability and mine happens to be teaching healing that works every time and helping people to do that. And I want to duplicate myself thousands of times so that it's not just me who learn these techniques, but I have a community army of practitioners serving the world, raising the vibration. It's the solution to all our problems. And I'm going to quote and end this with Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer, who touched my heart, who I've uh, met and chatted with on many occasions in the past. And he said, the title of his book, there's a spiritual solution to everything, to everything, to our healing. The oncologist, cardiologist, internal medicine doctor from UCSF I work with flies me to his office to treat his patients, his VIPs, he calls them. Here's what he said, says to his patients, when he introduces me, we've got to deal, help you deal with the mental, emotional, and spiritual components of your illness. Otherwise, 
you're not going to get well. When you do this, mental, emotional, spiritual, along with physical, he says, that's where the magic occurs. That's where the healing occurs. So again, thank you so much for being here in this webinar. Appreciate you. Sending you much love and joy. I'm Dr. Doug Lear. <laughs>